What's going on guys? This is Nafara Dimedik and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am Umar Nafara. Finally, in Nigeria, I'm medical student and I make videos on medicine and lifestyle. And this video is a continuation of my recommended textbooks videos. And I will be talking on the recommended textbooks for human embryology. As I did for cross anatomy, this is a continuation. The first textbook that medical students in Nigeria are supposed to have is the developing human. The developing human is written by the same author as clinically oriented anatomy that is Kent Elmo and it is one of the best textbooks with descriptions, illustrations and it is straightforward as well as easy to comprehend. So the textbook have some descriptions that are easily to be recalled by any individual and it is not bulky. It is being used by different medical students in different institutions. The next textbook that I will recommend is Langman's Medical Embryology by T.W. Sadler. The Sadler's Human Embryology is one of the best embryology textbooks that I came across and I also use it. It is easy to comprehend, it is straightforward, it has some descriptions also that are easily to be recalled and also it has good graphics and the Textbook is one of the best textbooks of embryology that you will have. It also has some clinical relevance and associations that you will easily recall when you are in your clinical phase of uh, studies. So it worth mentioning. Another textbook is Before We Are Born. Before We Are Born, it is also closely related with the developing human. It shares many features and many things, same as the developing human. However, if I can Vividly remember, before we are born, is less bulky than the developing human. So one can use it instead of the developing human and you will find it very useful and it is easy to be recalled and straightforward textbook. Another textbook that is very important and it worth mentioning is the Board Review Series of Human Embryology. The Board Review Series, as I mentioned earlier in the Gross Anatomy textbooks, it is mainly for revision and it has good illustrations, it has good descriptions and it also has many clinical correlates and even its MCQs are usually clinically oriented multiple choice questions. So it's worth mentioning and it is very useful once you are preparing for exams as you don't have time usually to go through bulky textbooks. And another textbook that is closely related to the board review series is High Yield of Human Embryology. The High Yield of Human Embryology is one of the best textbooks that I use, even though it seems to be like a manual because it is small and it is straightforward. However, the contents are easily comprehensible and you can use it any moment irrespective of the nature of stress you are in. The way I enjoyed the high yield during my embryology days is usually immediately after some lectures in embryology, I will just have a glance at the high yield and I will try to comprehend and retain what I have been taught because it is very simple, short and straightforward. So I hope you will enjoy it once you get it. Lastly, I would like to conclude this video by mentioning in the sense textbook of human embryology. The Indocrine textbook of human embryology it is also similar to that of Indocrine textbook of human anatomy for the cross anatomy. It is straightforward, easy to comprehend, and it is also having some good illustrations. It is also not that bulky, and it is used by many students in Nigerian institutions, so it's worth mentioning, and I hope if you download it or if you buy it, you will find it useful. I also hope you will not regret any textbook that I mention in this video. So, safe journey, and I hope you will find them useful. Bye-bye.